I, um, you know, did all my medical training here in New York. I went to uh, medical school at SUNY Downstate in Brooklyn. And, um, you know, there was where I um, had a lot of, you know, hands-on experience uh, with patient care. And that's where I realized I wanted to do internal medicine because I always felt that um, I wanted to do medicine not because I wanted to do some fancy procedures, but I really wanted to talk to patients, get to know them as a person, to get to know their families where um, I could have a sit down and have a conversation um, not even just doctor and patient, just just person to person, and that's really, really important to me. So while I was at SUNY Downstate, I had a hands-on experience taking care of a lot of patients, and that's where I decided uh, to go into internal medicine. And once I, I went into internal medicine training, I thought that that patient interactions between oncologists and um, their patients were really special. I felt that patients who, who had um, cancers really identified their oncologist as somebody they look up to, and somebody who they can entrust their care upon. And that really uh, was impactful for me. During my fellowship, I had a chance to do a lot of different things, which I was very proud of. But essentially, when it comes down to a, a choice in my career to see what my next step would be, I ultimately chose this position to count to the Mount Sinai Queens Cancer Program. I think it's very important for me, as somebody who grew up in Queens, seeing that a lot of my family and relatives here that they have to travel to Manhattan for a lot of their specialized cares. I felt it was very important for a class institution like Mount Sinai that we'll be able to provide uh, that type of care right here in our neighborhood. I think our advantage at, at Queens is that we want to promote this feeling that they'll get excellent care but, but warm than personalized care. Mm -hmm. And I think that, that that is our mission actually. But here, once they come through here and they register, they see the, the same um, facility, they see the same register, it's the same office manager. We have you know, great nurse manager here, a register here. They're very personal with our patients. They come in and see the same nurses and some medical assistants. They see me and Dr. Greenberg all the time. And even if they're getting infusions, they, they're able to see us if they have questions. So, you know, I have so many wonderful experiences over my two years here at Mount Sinai Queens. Um, a couple of patients comes to mind particularly. Um, I remember meeting an 86-year-old uh, Italian woman who uh, speaks some English, um, very cute lady. When I met her about a year ago, she was recently diagnosed with a very advanced and aggressive lymphoma. At the time, um, she did not um, decide what to do at that time. She didn't know whether she wanted more therapy. She has had relatives who gone through chemotherapy and had horrible experiences, where um, to the point that she almost did not want chemotherapy for her treatment. She always comes to her with her sister, who always brings me food, and, uh, have me gain a little weight over the, the last couple of years. Um, and um, at that time, we, we were able to diagnose her disease and proceeded with um, her treatment. Now, a year later, um, I just saw her last week. She's doing well. She's gained weight. She's gained all of her hair back, and she's enjoying life to the fullest. She goes to casinos um, once a month with her um, church. Um, she, um, you know, is able to join a lot of time over the holidays with her family. And really, this is, I think, what being an oncologist is about, is that we're able to contribute to help these people live a life that they want to live. And I think that's very important to me.